So this video is gonna walk you through how to update um, a Google document or slideshow that's been connected to a Canvas assignment using the Google Assignment LTI 1.3. Um, I first wanna start with kind of a preface of what the issue some teachers have been experiencing when it comes to editing the document. So what you see on the screen is a assignment that I have in one of my Canvas courses that I created using the Google Assignment LTI 1.3, so that new version. Um, what teachers have experienced is after they've connected their document, and you'll see I have two people who've already started accessing or submitted um, the document that I added. Um, whether this happens as students have already of uh, some students have already started or no students have accessed yet, what some teachers have run into is they've attached their document and they've realized, oh, I need to change something, I need to edit something. And so what they found is if they go to their Google Drive and locate the original document and make the change, the change isn't being represented on the document that's attached. The other issue teachers have run into they're thinking, oh, it's not automatically updating. If I go to edit my assignment and I click find, like you're basically they're trying to relink the assignment or the document that they had connected. When they get to the part to connect it, they'll see, oh, it already has the document attached and it's not letting me delete it. It's not letting me change it. So what some teachers have been resulted to do is delete the whole assignment and recreate it. I've had some teachers even click on the link to the document because it does open up a document and make the changes here, but they've also found that doesn't update the, the changes for the students when they access the assignment. So what there is a way to get the, the um, updates you make to stick and to appear for anyone who has not accessed the assignment yet. So that's one thing to know. What I'm about to show you, it will work However, if you have any students, so in my example, Sasha and Ava, if I make a change, but they already have a copy, my change is not going to be represented in what they've already created. And that's because they now have their own copy in their own Google Drive. Okay, so let me show you how to do this. So I have to give a little bit of background, so stick with me. <laughs> when you use the Google LTI in Canvas, if you didn't know, what automatically happens is in Google Drive, your CSD docs, a folder has been created called Assignments. Now, mine's right here because I've just been, it's like right at top because I've just recently been to it. Um, but if you don't see it, if you type in Assignments, you should have a folder that comes up called Assignments. Now, one folder you're going to see for me is Google Assignments LTI 1.3. This is only there because I actually have a Canvas course called Google Assignments LTI 1.3. So don't worry if you're like, I don't see that. You should see assignments. So if I double click on assignments, what I'm going to see is a list of folders and these folders all represent Canvas courses in my account, my Canvas account that I have connected or been a student of um, a course that has utilized the the Google LTI. So you'll see, I actually have two professional growth leadership because I have two versions of this course. So it's not an accident, I actually have two versions. You'll see that Google Assignments LTI 1.3, this is a course, it's been my sandbox course to play around all things Google LTI. So here is the assignment again. So here is my evaluating digital tools, is in my professional learning growth, professional growth and learning course. If I want to update this document, what I need to do is update it in the folder that was created for me by the Google Canvas um, connection. Um, so when I double click on my professional growth and leadership course, um, what I'm seeing is a folder that says templates do not edit. I like that it's super capitalized because in a minute I'm going to show you where to go edit. Um, and then these represent the assignments that have um, will have submissions. So my evaluating, I can see that Sasha has actually submitted her, um, her document. So as things get submitted, it's showing up here for me to access. So, and actually I did have, um, as students are starting, so Ava actually was in here, but because I've been playing around, it got deleted. 
Um, so anyone who's actually accessed and started will, will be listed. And this is where as a teacher, I can come here and check on people's work. But notice that templates do not edit. If I double click on that document, here are the different documents that I have connected to the assignment and it says template. So what Canvas has done, Canvas and Google have done when working together, they essentially created this template archived copy. This is what is being used to make the copy for students. So if I want to make any changes that are going to be represented in what students are going to get, I want to make the changes in the folder called templates do not edit. That's why it's slightly ironic. <laughs> it says do not edit. But I think it's there because it wants you to know if you edit anything here or if you delete this, if there could be, um, I don't know what the repercussions are if it gets deleted, but um, if you make any changes that you want students to access, click template here. So I'm going to double click because this is the assignment I want to edit. So I actually just added this. I have made an update. Um, I'll even add one more. Um, I'm going to say highlight just so you can see that there's a difference. So this is what I want to make sure students see. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to pause my video and I'm going to go into a student view so you can see that I just made this edit. And in fact, if I go to edit that assignment details, I want you to see that right now. Um, let's see. assignments. I'm still not going to be able to change anything. So it's still looking like nothing's happened. But let me show you what happens when a student makes a copy. Okay, so I am now in as a student. Okay, so as a student. If I want to click on that assignment, I can see the updates. So this is where I, as the teacher, made the updates. So now when the student accesses the Google document from that Canvas assignment, the updates are there.